So, it's been 5 years since Mercedes first revealed their crazy Formula 1 powered hypercar, the AMG One. Well, the production version is finally here. The wild looks and aerodynamics remain largely unchanged in the transition from the concept to the production car, but the final spec sheet is drool worthy. Now, why is it so cool? Well, this is a street legal hypercar, but there is an F1 engine at its core, like a legit Formula 1 motor. And this Formula 1 engine combined with the electric motors make an astonishing 1050 horsepower. Now obviously making this. Legal for road use is a challenge. In fact, the chairman of the management board at Mercedes said, With the Mercedes AMG 1, we have more than pushed the boundaries. The immense technical challenges of making a modern Formula 1 powertrain suitable for everyday use on the road have undoubtedly pushed us to our limits. And the team behind this car actually almost gave up on multiple occasions, as they thought it would be impossible to implement. Well, it is here, so it must be possible. Now, the 1.6 litre V6 revs all the way to 11,000 RPM and it is fitted with an electric assisted single turbo charger. Now, this electric turbo setup is used in Formula 1 cars as well. Now, how it works is the turbo has a small electric motor mounted on the shaft between the turbine and the compressor wheel and in situations where the engine doesn't produce enough exhaust gases, the little motor will get the turbo spinning, thus eliminating turbo lag. But this system has its challenges. Heat. You see, all those electrical components have to stay alive in crazy hot environments. So that was undoubtedly one of the things they struggled with in the development of this car. Anyways, the engine utilizes double overhead camshafts, air spring valves, direct injection and a complex exhaust gas cleaning system. And this internal combustion engine produces 566 horsepower, but then comes the electric assistance. The car has four electric motors altogether, two driving the wheels and two assisting the engine. In front you will find two motors producing 322 horsepower combined. Then the third is installed with the gasoline engine, sending 161 horsepower to the crankshaft. Now, what does a Formula 1 motor with true F1 tech equate to in terms of real world performance? Well, in a straight line, it will reach 62 in just 2.9 seconds. From 0 to 124 miles per hour will take you just 7 seconds, and she will top out at 219 miles per hour. But remember, straight line performance isn't the main focus of this car. I think Mercedes is quietly confident that their AMG 1 will take the Nürburgring lap record for being the fastest production car to ever lap the ring. What makes it so great in the corners? Well, its monocoque chassis with pushrod suspension is designed for ultimate performance. The 5 link suspension also comes with a pair of adjustable struts front and back. The dampers are adaptive of course, ranging from comfort, sport and sport plus settings. The torque vectoring with all wheel drive system also changes as you go through the modes depending on the chosen drive mode. Then comes the design of the body, as you can imagine, she was developed in an air tunnel. However, we don't really know how much downforce she can make since Mercedes doesn't really want to share the detail with us. One more cool thing about this car is the fact that it shapeshifts depending on the driving mode you are in. Its active error will change. So let's say you are in track mode, the car will lower down, a rear spoiler will raise up and the front spitter will adjust for most downfalls. Then when you are on the way home in comfort, the wing will drop and the suspension will soften up a bit. I would probably always drive around in track mode since it looks the coolest. Oh, and I almost forgot, it has a top speed low drag mode as well, where the car has less downforce so it wouldn't be great in corners, but this mode is meant for straightaways. Now for interior. So we know the car aims to bring the Formula 1 experience to the road via a F1 power plant. 
but the experience doesn't stop with the engine. Inside the MG1 you'll find deeply sculpted seats that provide a straight out orientation for your legs. The driver grips a rectangular Formula 1 style steering wheel. Now I have to say, this interior is quite a bit more luxurious than the F1 interior. Inside you will find two 10 inch screens, one for your infotainment system and one that serves as your gauge cluster. You will also find air conditioning and a good speaker system. So I wouldn't call it luxurious, but next to a Formula 1 car, it's a Rolls Royce. Now in conclusion, Mercedes succeeded in their pursuit to create a road legal Formula 1 car. It took them a while, but it's no easy task. Now the question is, was it worth all the time and effort? Well, you guys can let me know down below. So if you think this car is freaking awesome, leave a comment down below and let me know. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. I've got many more videos on new cars and future technologies. So if you like this video, I'm sure there's more stuff you'll like. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?